Episode 40, May 30th, 2017. You're listening to a 4x4 Radio Network Podcast. Podcasting since 2010. Who are you gonna call? So when you want to call, you dial that number. Call! It's the Jeep Talk Show Call In Show with Tammy and Tony. They're gonna be talking Jeeps with you. There's no show without you, so call in now. Just make the call. Good call! That's who I'm calling now. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. This is episode 40. 40 of the Jeep Talk <laughs> Call-In Show. I can't believe that. A live call-in show. Sometimes it's a show all about you, the listener, and your Jeep experiences. And sometimes Tony and I have a guest. And lately we've been having lots of exciting guests. And tonight we have another great guest. I'm Tammy, a.k.a. Jeep Mama from JeepMama.com here on the East Coast. And joining me every Tuesday night from the Jeep Talk Show headquarters is Tony. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Headquarters. I love the way that sounds. Can we start saying Bat Cave? I was always I always wanted the Bat Cave, you know, from way back when, when uh, McDonald's, when Batman was on, you know, that little pole. And they even fixed it where you could go back up the pole. I thought that yeah, was really yeah. cool. But I digress. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we have uh, Ryan from More Ride tonight. Uh, and uh, he's going to tell us some great information about some uh, uh, accessories, some add-ons, some things that they build for the uh, the Jeep lines. Now, I've already chastised him for not having anything for the XJ. So if you guys have an XJ and you're looking forward to hearing about that, you're not going to. But if you uh-huh. know, the TJ, the JK, I think they even do YJs. So I, actually, I think I'm going to give him a hard time about not having and, You know, if they can do a YJ, they ought to be able to do an XJ. <laughs> so let's just get Ryan on here now so let him defend himself. Ryan, thank you for joining us tonight. We really appreciate you making the time. Uh, and if I understand right, you're traveling, so and you've been traveling. So this has got to be a lot of fun coming in doing a uh, a cheesy podcast interview. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. I appreciate you having me on. Uh, it's great to be on here. So like I was uh, uh, telling uh, telling you earlier, we'd love to get some information about the person that we're interviewing first, even though you're uh, you're here to represent uh, More Ride, uh, MoreRide.com, uh, and that's M-O-R-R-Y-D-E. They're doing everything possible to throw you off, so it's M-O-R-R-Y-D-E. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, dot com. So uh, you guys should go check that out while uh, you're, while you're listening here live to the interview or, or watching the uh, the video on YouTube. So uh, Ryan, give us a little bit of background about yourself. Uh, where are you from? Uh, where are you at? Uh, let's let's go with those two. All right. Well, I am uh, I'm currently in Northern Indiana. That's where I I live. Not too far from uh, from kind of where all of our plants are. We all all of our plants are in Elkhart, Indiana. Um, and so I was, uh, born and raised right around here, went to college hmm. locally, um, got into sales right out of school and, um, have kind of traveled, traveled the country doing the, doing the sales thing and, uh, have started to mix in a little, uh, global travel as well. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've been with more for about two and a half years now. I kind of, I kind of do all the sales traveling for the, for our Jeep division, um, so it's been exciting. I'm a, I'm a Jeep guy myself. And so it was kind of a natural fit when I got involved and, uh, we just have, we have a great team, um, great designers, great R and D team that, uh, really work and just trying to give some, give some great products that are, uh, not only some of them are a little bit of a niche product, uh, but also just really going above and beyond as far as the design work and the, and the manufacturing of it to just provide a quality product. So let me ask you if this isn't too much of a personal question. Uh, when you interviewed for this this job two and a half years ago, did they ask you if you owned a Jeep? <laughs> yes, yes, that did uh, that did come up in uh, in the conversation. Uh, did you lie to them then buy a Jeep? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, actually, the first the first uh, vehicle that I bought with uh, with my own money um, was a was a TJ Wrangler. So I I've kind of been kind of been true to that ever since ever since uh college so i it was a pretty pretty easy answer when they were uh when they were asking me if i had it so it's been it's been fun and plus i get some uh you know i've always volunteered to try out the new products on my oh team, so of, course. of course never heard. Yeah. <laughs> what a guy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah just just for the company i'll i'll, I'll do that so uh what you're you know, uh, I'll, I'll take one 
what year TJ is it that you have? Mine's a 98. All right. And uh, you know, what's the most important question here? What right. color is it? What color? I'm, I'm going to build the suspense. <laughs> I know. I'm and... like, hurry up. <laughs> it is black. Of course. We knew that, Tony. I'm sorry, oh. Ryan. That is the wrong answer. No, ignore him. <laughs> ignore him. Tony, I think out of all the people we've had on our show, the black Jeeps are are ruling. Yeah, well, you know, just because everyone's crazy doesn't mean that's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, we're not crazy. They're crazy. Uh, hey, so, Ryan, I was looking at your website at um, some of the Jeep accessories, and they look pretty cool. Um, I really like those, the the hinge mounts that you can put like, oh, yeah. your extra fluid on. I noticed on. that as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Can you, yeah, can you tell? I mean, and there's so many more places to put them than just your regular spots. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'll I'll name drop our our designer. I don't know if those of you that are on the on the forums and things like that, but uh, Jeff Sherb um, designs a lot of our a lot of our Jeep products, and he's a he's an avid Jeeper. Has been a Jeeper for years. Um, he actually has a an LJ that he has done just about everything you could to to make it custom himself. Himself, and actually the black LJ, I think it's in, even in some pictures on the website, so you can kind of get a look at, at his Jeep. But a lot of these a lot of these products come, came from um, either ideas that he saw on the trail or uh, Jeepers that he talked to. They had requested, hey, man, I wish, you know, I wish this could go here or I wish this could go here. And so he's got a he's got an engineering mind. Um, he's got a little workshop up at his uh, up at his house. And so he can kind of kind of play around with some things, work out some designs, get it to us. And then we can kind of take over from the manufacturing perspective and kind of get that into a manufacturing um, product. So as far as some of the we've got the hinge mounted things and things like that, um, some of the. Some of the reasons that we try to mount to the hinges itself is everybody knows on the, especially on the the JKs and even the, even the TJs as well. But that hinge, that factory hinge, is just terrible. It rattles, it sags. Yeah. Um, everybody always has a problem with it. And so that was kind of our first our first product launch was that heavy duty hinge that you see. So it's rebuildable, it's greasable. Um, so it allows you to take that factory hinge off and replace it with something that's going to give you some structure and it's going to allow you to, to beef up that tailgate. Um, a lot of people are hanging all this extra weight and bigger tires and things like that off that tailgate, which really just puts that strain, um, right on those hinges. So then I had from there, no, yeah, that was kind of, go ahead. I was just gonna say I had my Jeep rattled for the longest time until I switched out my, my tailgate, I had no idea that's what it was. That yeah, was and the, and the it's hinge. honestly, every every JK will have that problem eventually. It's, huh. it's a matter matter of time. Um, but it's been it's been really really cool to kind of see that that product itself was kind of what what launched us into the Jeep world and just kind of see the the product line develop from that. But uh, but then other other places that you know maybe maybe storage or you know whether it's water whether it's fuel, whether it's, um, you know, a high lift, a jack, something like that. There's places on the Jeep that things aren't stored there um, currently. And that's what that was what we tried to figure out is, you know, where can we get other products besides just adding weight onto that, onto that tailgate, if you, especially if you're not beefing up those hinges. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things. Do, um, do you guys test out the products? Um, yourselves once you manufacture them and then put them on or how does that work? Yeah. So what, um, a little bit of background on Moride, the company, um, the company has been around since the 1960s, uh, primarily dealing in the, uh, RV industry. Uh-huh. And so from our background in that, we did a lot of suspension work and things like that. And so with our, with our background there, there is numerous testing and, and, big time standards that have to be met um, when you're talking with suspensions and things like that. And so from the beginning of, from the beginning of the company, testing has always been a big, a big 
uh, part of the design and the development of new of new products. And so when we first launched into this this Jeep division, you know, it was the it was the same thing. Jeff, our designer, did a lot of his own his own testing and things like that. Then we bring it in house. We've got a full. We've got about I think it's nine um, degreed engineers on our R and D team. Wow. And um, so they're all they're all working on you know various projects and things like that. But it allows allows them to have a little bit more time that they can really dive in. See where some weak points are. See where to, you know, see where to strengthen a certain piece or a certain product, um, and then put it through, you know, rigorous amount of testing before it would then, you know, launch it out to the to the public. So, are you guys mainly just like for for the Jeep stuff anyway? Just like the hinge mounting, the mounting, like storing stuff on the outside of your Jeep. Is that kind of what you're focusing on? Yeah, right now that's that's kind of that's kind of where we where we've started. Either um, some sort of storage solutions or something that is going to to beef up and kind of enhance um, the performance of you know the structure of your Jeep. Right. So, anything new in the works that you can talk about? Yeah, we actually. Uh, I I know Tammy, you were you were at Moab, correct? Yeah, I just got back. Um, okay. last Monday. Yeah. How was it? Oh, <laughs> I loved it. I didn't want to leave. It was, and, and I did not, um, unfortunately I didn't bring my Jeep. I just flew in and I rented a Jeep from outlaw, um, Jeep tours. And I did, a, a okay. day and a half on the trails there and I okay. had a blast. It's awesome. Yeah. It's, I, unfortunately, um, I'm not, I can't take the whole week and, and get out there. Um, so too much, too much stuff at the office um, to get done. But what I do is um, we have our designer, Jeff, he, he drives out there. Um, and then we have one of our, uh, one of our online retailers uh, lives in Nashville, um, retrofit off road. And so he drives out there too. Um, and so what I do is I'll fly in, I'll do some trails, do some trails with uh, them for a day then I set up the the vendor show. We do the vendor show for the whole um, for think, Easter Jeep Safari. Two, yeah, yeah, two and a half days, and then I then I come home too. So, um, but yeah, so we we this year at Moab, uh, we did have a new proto on some one new product we've got coming out. It's a it's an over the tire uh, rack system. Um, it's going to incorporate a bunch of different things. It's not going to be just your your standard over the tire rack that you see every day. Um, we're going to, we're going to incorporate some different fitments and just some different things that allow it to kind of have a, a little bit of um, like a universal like grid type pattern um, that might allow some, some different mounting points for different things that you might need on the trail. So uh, we're calling it, calling it the overland rack. Um, you might be seeing stuff, you know, we'll, we'll try to, as things get closer, we'll try to get some blurbs out there. So you get a, get to see it but I'm, I'm super excited about it uh this is one of my this is a product i've been pushing for for about six months um so i'm glad i'm starting to see some protos we're starting to get some testing done on it uh, so i'm really excited to get this get this one out and launch it to the public so you're uh the the shop that puts these uh, uh pro- proto designs together is that on premise uh, I, I mean can you go over there and bug the guys and look over their shoulder and say Hey, that's uh, that's a millimeter off, you know, and just get run out, run the hell out of there. I mean, do you get to actually get in there with the smells and the stuff? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The, those guys, uh, I, I travel a, a quite a bit um, for work, being in sales, and so. But the first, my first stop when I get back in the office is uh, I head over to the R and D department, and uh, they they try to they try to hide from me when when they see me <laughs> coming because they know. Oh I'm, no. Uh, they know they know what I'm coming for. So, uh, but yeah, it's 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 really good and it's really really interactive. Um, even coming from um, Jeff, our designer, you know, he's involved with the R and D team. He's he's not local um, to the Elkhart area, but he'll stop in and and give feedback and things like that on why he designed it like this, why he designed it like that. And then our engineers have just you know a lot of them have the manufacturing engineer uh, degrees. 
And uh, so we've got about five different campuses, close to 800,000 square feet of manufacturing. So these guys, their their brains are just trained to take a product and figure out how to how to make this um, the best way possible for for our facilities. Now I've got to ask this: um, the uh, the fuel and water carrying. You know, we all have a Jeep, and we all know how the fuel situation is. Can you give us a little more information on the the fuel and water carrying, and uh, about what kind of options that you guys have for that? Yeah. So right now we have um, we've got the the rear uh, the rear spare tire mount. So that one that one actually comes out through. Um, the center hole on where your spare would be. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have th- that solution. We've got the hinge mounted solution, um, and that's kind of more specifically designed uh, on the Rotopex, just because most people, if they're having a bigger tire on there, they're going to want something a little thinner. They're not going to have all that space up to that side of the tire. So that's why we kind of designed it with the uh, with that Rotopex in mind. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have. Another super cool product that we that we have, and I believe we're the only one in the industry that has it, is the um, are the side mounts. So, mm-hmm. um, kind of back to the the design and the creativity of this of the product was all right. What's the one? What's the place on the Jeep that space would, is not being utilized as much as it could be? And one of the things we we came up with, or Jeff, I should say, came up with, was the side mount, um, the JK version. Uh, bolts a little bit differently than the TJ version. Uh, the JK version, you actually use those holes that are already factory holes in your Jeep, so you're not drilling. We don't we don't want to drill in anything into our Jeeps. We we like to keep them the way they are. Right. But it's, it's utilizing factory holes that are already um, in the Jeep that you can mount. Um, you know, something for a uh, for a water can or a you know jerry can, something like that. And then the TJ version actually bolts to the frame right right on that side there but it's not going to mess with your clearance or anything like that so you can still you know go wheeling and things like that so it will support a a standard jerry can a standard size jerry can yep absolutely and those are i think filled up those are right around in the 50 pound range yeah well that's those are those would be perfect for those overlander guys too they could put put them on each side and um oh yeah oh yeah that's and that's that's honestly uh, where we've seen most of the most of the traction, I've I've done the Overland Expo out in Flagstaff the last couple of years, and that's right. been by far one of the the best selling products for the, for that show. Um, are the the storage for the fuel and the water carrying solutions? It's just been they they love it out there. So uh, I noticed uh, about your storage, uh, the, uh, the uh, specifically the ammo uh, can I holders. I was just looking at that too. <laughs> so that looks I want to really I want to cool. circle back to the ammo can holders. But does the ammo can mean there's there's you guys are looking at or possibly uh, R and Ding a fifty caliber machine gun mount? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if it if it was my choice, I would uh, I'd put that on the list for them to them to work on but unfortunately i think i might i might get uh outvoted on that one <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> well it's the 20 millimeter then and we can you know we don't have to go 50 cal so yeah that actually might be a yeah. fun thing to have for your next jeep uh jeep safari uh, uh ryan that's a that's a million dollar idea free from the uh, jeep talk Collins show yeah <laughs> well i'll make sure to get get you guys a cut of that somehow Ooh. So yeah that there work. you go yeah <laughs> uh, black so jeeps aren't so I, bad I'm, I'm looking at <laughs> I'm looking at the um that carrier, the universal carrier, and it's like a little tray and then there's a a Molly panel where you can put your Molly bags. But what right. is underneath and on the inside of it? Is that place you can store stuff as well? Yeah, so essentially that um so you are you looking at the JK one specifically probably? Yeah. Yeah, with the mallet. Yeah. So what it is is um, it kind of you again trying to trying to utilize um, some of that lost space is kind of trying right. to reclaim some of that lost space in that back of the jeep. And so yeah, the molly that molly grid they're running up the side, um, so you can you strap your molly things on there, and then it kind of flattens out and attaches yep. to attaches to the tub. And that's just another place we call it an ammo can holder because that's what kind of what it was designed around. But honestly, it's just another place that you can, you know, keep something, keep something from them rattling around, from rolling around in the back of that Jeep. 
uh, we've got one of our, one of our sales guys has a Jeep and, and so we, you know, obviously outfit him with a bunch of stuff and he's got, he's got a couple little, you know, little girls and so they are always have their toys. They always put their toys, they pull the ammo cans out and they put their toys in that, in that little yeah. ammo can slot. So it's kind of right. just a universal storage area. Um, they just kind of, again, trying to reclaim some of that lost space. I'm, I'm sitting there poking around on the uh, the website, and our audience is uh, able, our live audience, and anybody watching the YouTube video is able to see the website uh, that I got up on the screen there. Uh, is this the Universal Jeep Wrangler excursion rack that you're talking about or something different? No, it's the Jeep Ammo Can Carrier and yeah, Universal Ammo Can Tray. And this is for the uh, for the JK, the TJ, or uh, all of them. Yeah, the JK can... version should be the only one that's on the on the website. Okay, I'm gonna poke around here. I'm gonna get it up because I want everybody to be able to look at this. It sounds cool. Now, it, does it come with a strap? And could you could that strap be lockable? Because that's one of the concerns that a lot of folks with the Jeep. You know the the jeeps that can oh, yeah. the tops that come up is safety concerns for their stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we actually they um, so anything that anything that would have that kind of tray look to it, whether it's the the universal tray, whether it's the side mounts um, with that universal tray, it's going to come with a ratchet strap. Um, uh-huh. We actually we're working on a kind of like a new design for a locking strap. Um, we don't we don't sell one. We don't sell one straight to uh, straight to our retailers as of right now, but we're working on um, a locking strap just because we have heard that that is um, that is a concern. And you know, when you're out on the trail or out camping, things like that, um, we hear a lot of that on the RV side as well. You know, people want to be able right. to lock their stuff down and and keep it and keep it safe. So we're we're working on that. We don't have a solution yet, um, but yeah, we're we're exploring some options. So I noticed. I, uh, I'm sorry, Tammy. Go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, it, it would be a lot of work, though, to, you know, to undo that strap because I can see the buckle part of it. You can put that on the inside of your Jeep. Um, so that yeah. could be a little bit of a deterrent. You know, someone had, would have to get in your Jeep to unstrap it. And um, Yeah, anyway. we, we try to make it a little more difficult for, for somebody to take it. Right. All right. Well, I had noticed when I was poking around trying to find that ammo box, uh, which I couldn't find. Uh, and I noticed that you guys, and I'm sure this isn't a big ticket item, but I, and I, I know there's a lot of people out there that like having CB for the trail, uh, that would be interested in this mount that you have. Uh, it, it's just a, a small little thing, but it does require the, um, the Wrangler tailgate hinges. But, uh, can you tell us anything about the CB antenna mount? Yeah, that's, that's another, um, you know, it's a simple, simple product. Um, uh, we, we thought that, and what we saw in the market, um, it was just a little bit, a little bit of overkill on some of the <laughs> some of the mounts. So we yeah. just tried to we just tried to simplify it down, make it make it as simple as possible. And uh, so, I mean, what you see there is what you get. Um, so we also realized that that's not always the most convenient spot for a CB mount. Um, and so what we've tried to do on some of our um, other products, the side mounts and and uh, the Rotopax hinge mount. Um, a lot of those will have a, an access hole for a CB to mount to. So you can c- kind of combine two things with one um, as opposed to, you know, all right, well, I got to have my CB here, but that's where I wanted to put my, you know, ammo can. So we're, tr- we're trying to make things a little, a little bit of university, a little bit of, yeah, combine a couple things just to try to give you a little more options. Yeah, that's great. That's it. I like this. There's a lot of uh, little goodies and stuff that you can get. And you know, Jeepers, they love buying little things, especially when they're not real expensive. They can just kind of add to it, be working on the Jeep and have these little uh, fancy things they can show their friends at meets and greets uh, or uh, off-road uh, events. So I finally found the yeah. ammo can thing. That thing is cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you you're gonna make a sale there, especially like being able to. Uh, the <laughs> Tammy's gonna be. Buying. I always like buying new stuff to try them out. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. It's uh, it's yeah. like a uh, it's like a shadow box that you can always you can always put stuff in. Uh, I think it's one of the reasons why so many of us like the Jeeps. It's uh, so many things you can do to it. Yeah, and you that can, gives me an excuse to buy some more of those Molly bags and fill them up with more stuff. Yeah, are you running out of things <laughs> to put in there? I, I bought even bought a fancy compass to go in one of mine. Right. You know, the, just in case the GPS goes out. Right. 
Oh, let me mention real quick, guys. Uh, we do have the the call in number up. Uh, we're uh, past that uh, fifteen minute uh, threshold. So if you'd like to call in and uh, speak with Ryan, got a question, maybe a product that he hasn't mentioned that you're uh, that you're wondering if they have, just call us at three zero two two zero two one 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 zero, and then dial the special secret sauce number uh, mm-hmm. two one. <laughs> Two one nine. Um, just waiting for it. Eight three five two one nine eight three five. So give us a call, and you can talk to Ryan right away. But you only have about uh, five or six minutes left, so hurry up and call in. Hey, Ryan, I just wanted to put it out there that um, I have a, a four door JK. It's black, of course. And if you guys ever need to test anything out oh, on boy, the JK, <laughs> I'm, I'm always I'm always a willing tester. All right, hey, that's what I, that's what I like to I like to hear that willing spirit that is just, <laughs> right. you know that is just ready to go. So I'm sure I'm sure there's something that I can that I can get out to you that, that you could give me some feedback on. So right. R- Ryan, I, you're in sales. How many people a day tell you, yeah. "Hey, if there's something you want me to test, right. I can help you out." Right. <laughs> oh yeah, it it uh, I would say I would say daily. I can pretty much count yeah. on it daily that. <laughs> uh, that that's that that's offered. So and and I'm not even speaking for we've got a we've got a great team of uh of inside salespeople um that are that are on the phones taking calls all day. Um and so and I I know they I know they hear it too. So but that I mean that's the great thing about the, the Jeep community is um every Jeep every Jeep you see out there is unique. Everybody has a story behind their Jeep and kinda the the trails and the, the adventures that they ride um, right and so everybody's trying to make it make it their own well i mean it's the great thing is that people are actually uh offering and they're interested and if they weren't offering and interested that would be a, a much harder position to be in for sales hey ryan we got a call oh, absolutely caller thanks for giving us a call what uh kind of question do you have here for uh for ryan hang on this thing i pressed the button and it didn't take uh caller go ahead well greetings and oh, no. hallucinations y'all <laughs> so i'm wondering you have any plans for uh, CJ products? No, not not anything currently that is is in R and D. Um, is specifically for CJ. We're trying to um, to work on some things that that might be able to to flip and might be able to to go across different Jeep models. Mm-hmm. But as far as something specifically for the CJ coming up, um, not that I am aware of now. To be fair, our designer has a has a mind of his own, and uh, sometimes he's designing stuff that I'm not aware of. Um, so I I wouldn't be surprised if something pops up here in the next couple months. But to my knowledge, nothing specifically for the CJs right now. So Ryan, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you guys do fabrication, is that correct? Yes, absolutely. So if uh, if our if our caller wanted something for our CJ uh, for his CJ and had very very deep pockets, you could probably make it for him, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. And even if, even if the pockets aren't even if the pockets aren't deep, we're always we're always up for new ideas. We you know that's uh, we we consider our our company an opportunity driven company. Um, so we love we love hearing new ideas. We love hearing what people want to see. Um, and then kind of seeing how we can how we can make that work. So, but yeah, I mean, by all means, if if, uh, if any if any callers have any great ideas, you know, we'd love we'd love to hear them. So uh, I don't know. I think everybody here that uh, knows the Jeep Talk Show uh, recognize the the voice of Super Croc. Uh, Super Croc right. is there is there a specific item that you had an interest in, or was that just in general uh, anything for the CJ? Kind of in general. I know that I'd love to see. Some people have homemade like side um, carriers for smaller, like the Rotax carrier cans. Oh yeah, that would look awesome on the CJ. Um, I mean, all those antenna mounting options, whether that threaded CB or ham <laughs> radio, would be awesome. You know, right. All right. Well, they they have some uh, some ideas there, and uh, you can always go to uh, moreride.com, dot com, m o r r y d e dot com, 
and uh, contact them over there and, and uh, share your ideas, not just uh, Super Croc, but uh, all you guys out there. I'm I'm sure, uh, Ryan, you guys love getting ideas from the public. I would imagine you have a little uh, a little list there, and whenever the check mark goes next to an item uh, 100,000 times, you go, hey, this might be something worth building. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, I think our, our sales um, contact email should be on the website. I believe it's sales at moride.com. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's where a lot of these ideas come from on products is either, you know, we're talking to customers, seeing what they want, or we're out at the, out touring the country at all the, at all the shows, um, listening to the people coming off the trail, man, it would be great if I had this or this. Um, so that's, that's where a lot of the design, um, it's that kind of the inspiration for a lot of the products come from. So yeah, feel free to reach out anytime. You know, that's going to hey. be a wonderful feeling to be able to come up with uh, solutions for people like that and uh, to see the smile on their faces once they uh, they get your product and um, uh, all that. Uh, the, uh, and also, too, just being out, seeing the things out on the trail and pointing at it and going, yep, that's mine. I, I have yeah, a quick absolutely. question. I, I have a quick question. I'm uh, trying to um, figure out how to purchase this ammo can carrier. And um, mm-hmm. do I have to email you guys, or is there like a buy now part on yeah, the, so the we website? Actually, we actually do not um, sell anything directly to retail customers. We tend to direct everything through distribution. So we have several okay. several channels that should be listed on the website um, for that. Um, and if for some reason you're having trouble, oh, okay, I see. So I go to retrofit off road. Yep. So they, okay. they all should be listed there. Um, but if some reason you're having trouble, yeah, please please email us. Give us a phone call. Like I said, we have uh, customer service inside sales staff that are always ready to, you know, answer questions, things like that. Um, so, but, yeah, all the all the retailers should be on be on the website so it turned out to be a really good question tammy because uh, people go in there and they get all the uh, the hot and bothered and they got to make a purchase and they can't right. i'm like i want to see how much it is i want to see if, <laughs> if i have the money right. well, i really like it you know tammy <laughs> tammy you're in maryland so now you're on a maryland watch list so simply because you want an ammo can so you know be right. careful over there <laughs> i was i was gonna put like a get like put my tools in there oh yeah it's great you can put all kinds of things in there uh, and it, it has that, uh, that really look cool. I'm a badass uh, look to it as well. So, um, Ryan, uh, we're going to uh, wrap her up here because uh, we want to uh, let you uh, do your 30 minutes and uh, get on to the other multitude of things that I know you have to do whenever you're traveling. Uh, I just hate sales. I just hate it. And uh, God bless the salespeople <laughs> that go out there and do right. that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, let us know about these products and uh, sell us things that we don't uh, think we want. And then turns out it's the best thing since uh, sliced bread. You know, I bet you the si- sliced bread salesman had a hard time selling it at first, too. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. is how, how do we get in contact with you or uh, more ride? Yeah, so um, I would say the easiest way is, is probably email. Um, you can email that sales mm-hmm. at more dot com. Um, or you can call into the to the general office number. It's uh, 574-293-1581. Either one of those, you're going to get the most uh, most people that would be able to respond. But, yeah, feel free to email me as well. My email is ryan, R-Y-A-N, dot wertz, W-E-R-T-Z, at moride, M-O-R-R-Y-D-E, dot com. Um, so yeah, any of us would be willing to talk to you, um, talk to customers, talk to callers, anybody. Um, so that, that's, that's a great thing you, you mentioned about sales being a, a tough gig and it, it is tough at times, but it really does, uh, make sales a lot easier when it's a product that you believe in mm-hmm. and, um, you know, working, working for a company that, that is, is striving to do, you know, to go above and beyond. So uh, I know you guys must be on the social media. All the kids today are on the social media. How do how do people find you uh, or find more right on social media? Yep. So we we have a we have a Facebook page, uh, More Ride International. Um, now because the Jeep segment is just a is just a part of what we what we do, there will be you know RV stuff and other things like that um, on the Facebook page. But there'll be enough of the Jeep information that'll be able to, you know, whet your appetite a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you can also find us on, on Instagram as well. 
Um, and the, the handle there is at Moride. So oh, well, um, either way, and, and we have people that are constantly monitoring those and interacting with, um, with our followers and things like that. So feel free. You can reach out on our social media sites as well. Yeah, we'll have to go over there and uh, friend, follow, or circle whatever the hell it is on Instagram. Right. Because I, I'm sure we I'm going there now. I'm sure we always are already doing it on Facebook. Well, that's great. And uh, you know, you, you mentioned RV again, and I just can't help but think that there's got to be a a crossover there because you see so many RVs towing Jeeps. So uh, I would imagine oh, you get customers from from both sides. Yeah, absolutely. And and when. When our RV, the more I name carries a lot of weight in the RV world. And when they hear that we're now into the Jeep market, they get all excited and they, oh, yeah. you know, they go right to our catalog and, you know, they, they trust our name in the RV world. And they're like, Hey, anything Jeep that you've got that you're making, I want it all. So it's, it is yeah. cool to see that crossover in the customer base. Well, I'm just really glad that we, uh, we happened upon you. Our uh, social media manager actually, uh, uh, put us on to you guys, and I, I'm really glad to hear about uh, all the stuff that you have because it's wonderful seeing these little things that you can add on. Like I said, it's it's really the the wonderful thing about a Jeep is buying the little add-ons, making your Jeep just uh, not only that more functional, but also to that much more unique. And all these little add-ons allow you to have a, a more unique Jeep, and of course, are, are also make sales a lot easier by driving it. Going, hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> I want one of those. Yeah. Right. <laughs> But just to clarify, you cannot buy the products on your website. You that you guys yeah they have dealers um, shoot you out to a dealer. Okay. Yeah, they have dealers. Correct. And I think I think there's a, a find a, a local dealer on the website, isn't there, Ryan? There, yeah, there should be. And yeah, like I said, for some reason, if you're if you're having trouble locating uh, the closest guy to you, um, yeah, please reach out, and we'll our our customer service and inside sales staff. We'll track the closest dealer down for you and uh, kind of set that set that connection up for you. Excellent. Well, Ryan, but I don't have to go to the place. I can just because I'm on the website right now. Yeah, I'm sure so you I can, can just order it and they'll mail it to me, right? Of course, it's the 21st yeah. century, yep, Tammy. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm, get, I'm getting ready to hit add. To, I just added to cart. Oh, damn it. See, you, you made a sale tonight, Ryan. <laughs> you made one sale at Perfect. least. <laughs> it wasn't a I waste. need to go find an ammo to to box work. now. Where do I buy those? It wasn't in uh, Texas. It wasn't a wasted <laughs> uh, a wasted 30 minutes after all. You know, you made a nickel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, and you can you can actually get um, those those ammo cans. I mean, I've, I've bought them at Walmart before. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. But you want one that's all beat them. up. You want to go to like a uh, uh, has like bullet a holes in it or something. No, 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 no. You don't want those. They're, those are haunted. Uh, you want the what, yeah. like a like a surplus or something, Tammy. Well, uh, yeah, military surplus. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. You know, something that has some wear to it. It would really look cool. Of course, you can always distress them yourself. Ryan, I want to thank you a lot for being yeah, uh, being so a much. guest with us tonight. And uh, gee, it was really interesting. I'm uh, like I said, I'm I'm glad we found out about you guys, and I'm hoping all our listeners are excited to, about it as well. Uh, I think they will be, especially for the uh, carrying the uh, the ammo can type for storage and the fuel and uh, water uh, storage because uh, people always, you know, you get off road. I don't know about you guys, and, and Ryan, you could probably identify with this. You go off road. And you're watching that damn gas gauge because you know, especially the T, especially the TJ, because the TJ has such a, a like a 15 gallon tank, and uh, at uh, 20 miles per gallon at best, uh, it, that that thing goes down really fast. It's great to have uh, five gallons of extra fuel there because that will take you a uh, what is that 50 feet? Is it <laughs> five gallons yeah. of 50 yeah. feet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's 50 feet further, further you can run the AC. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that could be the most important 50 feet of the trail that's right <laughs> right right yep well ryan uh thanks a lot and oh, uh you if so you much. if you hang in there uh we'll uh, we'll come back to you after if you got to go we understand but uh uh thanks again and uh tammy that was some interesting stuff yeah it was it's you know anything to do with because people complain a lot about the lack of storage and oh yeah the jk's anyway so anything to add extra storage to your Jeep or to put stuff cuz you know us Jeepers we like to buy stuff. So this this was a this was a good a good interview oh, tonight. Oh, I love I love little knickknacks and stuff that you can yep. buy and especially that the 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 tailgate uh hinges, you know, to yeah. keep the rattling oh, yeah. and make it a little more stout and uh 
and throw in a CB antenna mount on top of that. That's great stuff. Yeah, uh, it's it's just exciting uh, buying those little things, and they can be so critically important. And it's great to have somebody that doesn't uh, uh, nothing against the folks that just do Jeep stuff, but but these people have a long background in uh, RVs and uh, fabrication. Right. So uh, I think you can uh, uh, really see the quality uh, that's in this. This is the Jeep stuff is kind of add on to a long business that they've had. So go right. check them out. MoreRide.com. M O R R Y D E dot com. Hey folks, and don't forget Thursday night you can check us out. Um, Tony, Josh, and I will be doing the Jeep Talk Show over there on Thursday night at ten o'clock Central Time. It's always central time, or as uh, God says, God's time. Tammy, you should get to God's time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> someday, someday. Well, folks, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, don't forget to check out more ride, M-O-R-R-Y-D-E dot com for some great, great products. I, I don't think he's got a black Jeep. I think you got to him before the interview. I did not. <laughs> There, there can't be that many black jeeps out there. There is, Tony. There is. <laughs>